Prancing Horse Quality Assured Collision Good News is brought to you by Prancing Horse Quality Assured Collision. The next chapter in a story reaching back over five decades is going to take shape at Government House throughout the summer. Proving the First Nations philosophy that a tree really does take on new life when it's turned into a totem. Everybody present has to attach a piece of cedar bark to them for the ceremony. I'm putting mine on my wrist. In its final resting place, this totem pole, originally crafted in 1959, was commissioned by the Canadian Navy as a gift to the Royal Navy in Britain. It also symbolizes the First People's connection with the Crown. For 20 years, it stood proudly on Whale Island in Portsmouth, England, but was shipped back to CFB Esquimalt after it was damaged in severe weather. Unfortunately, too far damaged to be restored. When it was being built more than 50 years ago, Chief Tony Hunt of the Quagolf Peoples was a young apprentice carver, helping his grandfather, Chief Mungo Martin, to create the totem. I had been learning from him already about, for about 10 years, so it was the first major project I worked with him. Uh, so he designed it. I was a laborer at the time, I used a, a crosscut saw because there were no chainsaws. So, so it was quite, an, quite a, a time for me as a young artist. And since then I've made over a hundred. While his grandfather has since passed away, his carving lives on through his grandson Tony. The history started with that poem. So I'm proud to be carried on that tradition that he left. And with an initiative supported by Lieutenant Governor Stephen Point, along with the Government House Foundation, the now master carver can build a replacement. It was just a, about a year ago that uh, his honor, uh, Stephen Point and Chief Hunt, uh, went and visited the old pole, and Chief Hunt had to decide whether it could be, uh, could be uh, re-raised and said that, that, no, it's too far gone, it should go back to the earth. And it's taken us about half a year or so to just uh, bring things together, to uh, get a pole here that was donated by Western Forest Products to Chief Hunt as a pole of reconciliation and unity, uh, or to symbolize reconciliation and unity. The name given to the pole is Usakami, appropriate for the Navy because it translates meaning you, the face of authority. The cedar tree being used will become an exact replica of the original totem and will stand 30 feet high. Hosakami, the remake of the commemorative totem, will be placed right here out front of Government House just next to the flagpole. Should be ready by September. From Government House in Victoria, I'm James Green for The Daily. <laughs> Prancing Horse Quality Assured Collision Good News is brought to you by Prancing Horse Quality Assured Collision.